Although Jeff's tormentors went to unusual lengths, this type of humiliation is all too common. About one third of all students between the ages of 12 and 18 report being bullied every year. Does everyone understand what mob mentality means? So what can be done to stop it? Um, they never In Brooklyn, New York, Blessed Sacrament School is dealing with a bullying problem of its own. When I started here, I would say teasing was done on a daily basis, and it would lead up to weekly interviews of bullying. Internet bullying started. Three girls were actually involved in it. Uh, they were on MySpace, and one of the girls found out the other girl's password, and the other kids on MySpace were going to her page and reading all these horrible things about her. You know, emotions are great, but unless they're handled well, they're not great. The school turned to Yale psychologist, Dr. Mark Brackett. His emotional literacy program trains teachers so that they can help students understand the emotional impact of bullying and respond to it more effectively. Our goal is to teach children how to identify how they're feeling. Frustrated. Giving children the words to describe their feelings. What other sort of emotions might be relevant there? Rage. Rage. We see emotional literacy as sort of a protective factor. The most important thing that our work does is teaching children how to handle themselves better. So, for example, you know, they're in a classroom and there's a bully, and the bully makes them feel bad about themselves. What strategies do they have? Because when they can identify how they're feeling, it gives them the opportunity to ask for help. I was always taught in my education courses of don't smile in class till January. You don't want to give them the emotional part of it. And now this guy's coming in telling me, hey, let's show your emotions, share them. These kids all have these emotions, and they're just frustrated because they don't know how to express them. I implement an emotional word every two weeks. Empathy, relating to and understanding another person's feeling. And then I asked the students, can you tell me of a time you felt this emotion? I had a best friend. Everyone made fun of her because she was different. I felt so bad for her. her Giving students an emotional vocabulary can help them cope with bullying. But research suggests that the most effective way to eliminate it is to teach students to stand up for each other. But this only works when school authorities send a clear message that bullying will not be tolerated. I don't feel that there is a bullying problem here in the school I'm at today. Students treat each other with common social courtesies. They're empathetic. They're sympathetic. They're respectful. They're just generally nicer to one another.